chord tells me it's Beethoven. This is the opening of the Pathetic Sonata, and we're in C minor, the key of 18th century's idea of pathos, of great expression. What next comes? <laughs> Beethoven, in the middle of the solemnity of this mood, moves into the sunshine. <laughs> Expressive, but suddenly. to the pathos. And the silence, the silence, this rest, which we need as musicians to inhabit as listeners too, to inhabit. You know, children, when they're playing a sight reading, they, the notes are what seems to be important to them. A rest can get ignored on the first run through. These rests have to be inhabited and picked up from where we left off. Same material again in this new section. This Beethoven is never afraid to repeat. He does it several times often. And there we have the typical feature of Beethoven, a second beat emphasized. One, two, one, two, rather like jazz. And we sail on, cutting a bit. But then... But then, off we go again. At the end, don't think he hasn't got a treat for us. It could have been. The applause would still have happened, but listen to what he does do. Are you inhabiting the rest?
did he prepare for that piece? My proposition. That piece was 1798. Let's go back to 1783. He was only 12. And his teacher, Christian Gottlob Niefer, had promoted him to play these sonatas once he'd composed them as his little boy and to publish them. That was arranged by his teacher. Listen to this. <laughs> Doesn't it sound rather like the pathetic? Not exactly embryonic, far beyond that, but certainly preparing. Again, the contrast, loud, soft. Let's move on. Dante Maestoso, the dignity of this little boy's concept, well, growing boy, 12. <laughs> this little boy. So let's now listen to the whole of this Larghetto Maestoso, moving to Allegro assai, assai extremely Allegro, Maestoso majestic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now listen to what his teacher said, Nefer. He described him as a boy of the most promising talent who plays the keyboard very fluently and powerfully. This youthful genius, he continues, would surely become a second Mozart if he were to continue as he has begun.